Hello everyone, it's Nim and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are working in our Australia Zoo, for if you didn't know, this is Australia. And fun thing, we finished our Australian Zoo, so we are gonna dive in and we are gonna do a tour. Like I promised, I am going to show you everything there is to see in this Australia Zoo. Here we are in our Australia Zoo, which is gonna have our top view. This is the zoo. It's not big, but it's like a zoo. There's a lot of water, even though we're in the desert. I felt like water was kind of necessary. And here at the edges, we kind of make this little oasis things. And we are going to go diving in it in a minute. But first, we are going to have a look at our entrance. So this is the spawn platform and the guest will spawn from here. Let's just um, put this on play so we can actually see it. Look, you appear and you disappear here. You have this beautiful view of the lake already. You can just see it there. I absolutely love it. So let's just uh, see if we can uh, dive into this zoo. So right now, this is our entering square. We have a lot of ATMs because like, obviously you need that cash. Lots of benches and trash cans already. And here we have our entrance where you can actually buy tickets. Now this one's actually closed at the moment. So we are just gonna do buy tickets at this person. Look, they have a little information booth and I actually built this little shelf with some lights on it. So you can actually like lean on there, put your cash on there. I think it's absolutely cute. Same with all the Australia signs. I think it looks really good. Same with looking at all the vegetation. I love it. So let's dive into the zoo. There we go, we entered. So to our right, wait, that's left, to our left, there is a staff village with some staff facilities. It's not very fancy. I mean, it's staff like trade center, staff lounge, keeper hut, a vet and a quarantine. It's all very basic with some beautiful vegetation though. I really love the way I made this. It sounds really weird, but I do love the way that I made this. I think it looks very, very cute. And then to our right, we are having some toilets, which like logical, see them running, they need to pee. So enough toilets for them here. And here already we have this viewing point. And there, as you can see, this is actually a habitat. And this is the habitat for our saltwater crocodiles. There are two in there. I don't think we can see them from there, but you know, um, we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there in the end. We also have some new vending machines standing here. And now we are heading up to our first sign. So this way is the crocodile. I misspelled that. <laughs> We're going to see the crocodile. Whoops. The ostrich and the kangaroo that's over this bridge. Then we have another bridge here here leading into Koala Island. Which is quite exciting. I think an animal has just escaped. Yeah, uh, it's just some ostriches. And a cassowary. Oh no. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that way to the cassowary, like it says so. And um, we're actually, let's go inside to the cassowary. So up here, we are having a little food court. You can buy some Mex... Mexalenti, I'll always forget the name. On hot dog squat, some ice cream. And then on the other side, you have a gulpy, a pip shot, water and a pip shot juice. And here we have our first habitat. And this is actually the cassowary, which is apparently a kind of emu. So if you're looking here, look, we can see them right there. They're looking nice and happy. Look good. We have this beautiful viewing points all the way around side. Loves educational speakers. I absolutely love it. Look, there it is. And believe, look, we have a baby. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. If I can actually move, that'd be nice as well. There we go. Look. The big eyes. Oh, I love it. And it's standing in water. And now it's swimming. Oh. I'm gonna call you Gary. I don't even know. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, Yaron, that's fine as well. Um, you are now Gary. There you go. Actually, the mom cassowary. Actually, man, this habitat 
I'm gonna say myself, I really like it. Oh, look at the dad is sleeping here inside the cave. Whoops, okay, we just got kicked out of the cave. Yeah, they have a cave. Which I think is really nice, with some coolers, because otherwise they were way too hot. Look, and the mechanic is fixing the fans, that's always nice. So, like, if we walk past the cassowary, we have another toilet stalls, because, you know, necessary. And we have this beautiful little square with some fountains. And it's actually really nice, and more ATMs as well. Look at them throwing away their trash in the bin, good job. And they're warm, but you know what, <laughs> it's the desert, get used to it. Now we are going to make a left and we are actually heading up to the dingo. So we're going over this bridge where everything hands made, by the way. I hand made everything in this zoo and I'm quite proud of it. So as you can see here on our left, there's a dingo habitat. And if we were to walk straight ahead, we would go to the kangaroos. And if we would go to the left, we would actually walk to the dingo and the komodo dragon. So let's go left. Let's see if we can spot these dingoes. Oh yeah, I can see them already up there. Let's just uh, fly over here. Look at all these people watching. And let's go into the habitat because they have small babies. Look. Wow. That is so cute and they're howling. They're just like little puppies. One, two, three, four. Four tiny ones, I think. So cute. Absolutely amazing. And they have quite a big habitat. I mean, all of this is their habitat. It's quite big. They have like two water bits. They have another one here. Oh no, the water is gone. Oh no, where did the water go? Hang on. Um, there you go. Look, they have another water right here. So they have two water bits. And then all this land is absolutely amazing. They have good viewing points. People can just really stand here and look. They have a sheltered bit as well. So if they don't want to be seen by, by the people, they can just sleep there. Which they do a lot. I mean, look how cute. Amazing, I love it. And right connected to the dingo habitat is actually another food cord. And because this is an Australia zoo, I try to make the colors as Australian as I possibly could with some more food and drink things. Then if we go out to this side, on the right left you have more, more dingo things. And then here we have a gift shop. We have a Hats Fantastics and we have a Just a Momento, which are amazing by the way. Best souvenirs in the entire town, just, just saying. So I am, what I do want to show you guys, I want to show you guys this. And this is actually like, if it were possible, it'd be like a skipping stone for the kids. So they would walk in here into the water and then up there again and then they could walk back like this. I mean, as a kid, I would absolutely find it amazing and I would love it. And down here, we follow this path a little bit down, like careful, it's a little bit, you know, build on a hill. Here we have a little educational center with some conversation boards. You can hear the water like going underneath you, which is absolutely amazing. You can see the toilets and there is another habitat. So we are going to go over this bridge and you can see here we are heading up towards the Komodo dragon. And you can see on the left some more stuff, um, buildings. Oh look, they're very warm. Ooh. Those as well. Sorry. Here we are at the Komodo dragon. Oh look, they're, it's feeding time. We are right on time. They're eating. At least they were just a minute ago. Go eat, come on. I don't think he's going to do anything more. Anyway, there are two in there. There's one there and the other one is there. They have quite a big habitat as well, like natural barriers. I try to keep the natural barriers in as much as I possibly could. Also, those fences, um, they are being seen as barriers as well, which I absolutely love. And I, I love the way this is landscaped. And I mean, I'm, I made it myself, but to try and paint and all the little bushes there. Whoa, where did the keeper go? That was weird, you saw that? 
What the heck? I just absolutely love it. Also, if we just zoom out to the area like around it, you can see this big desert rock with all these little plants. You can see here a little a spring in the rocks, in the mountains. And when you go over, you will actually see another oasis here. Very green, very blue. I love it. Absolutely love it. Also, all the animals obviously have like natural water and I absolutely love it. This is like my favorite zoo. It's like my second zoo that I ever created, but still it's my favorite now. And there you are, another like more landscape and you can hear the water again because it's like going quite fast. White toilets, Ooh, you can see that jumping in the distance, can't you? Kangaroos. So if you go to the left, you go to the ostriches, right is koala islands. We are going to the kangaroos. Oh, they're eating! Look! Oh, they're shy. They don't want to eat anymore. They're jumping. Oh, you can hear them actually, like the thudding on the ground. Amazing. And oh, we have babies! One, two, three, four. Aww. Look how cute. Is this a man? I'm guessing it's a male, I don't know. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Oh, wait, they're fighting. Look. The baby is going in the water. That is so cute. Oh. Where are you going, little one? They're so tiny. He's drinking from the rock. Okay, that's quite extraordinary. Is this one gonna drink? Oh, he's playing with the water. Nice. Okay, so, fun fact about this, like, this kangaroo habitat. They have, like, a lot of kangaroos in them. They also don't really have a lot of vegetation. I mean, if you look at the size of the habitat and you see how many plants they have, it's not that lot. It's not that much. But, you know, that's fine. They do have... Oh, look at them sitting together. That's so cute. This one's eating. Like, they have this inside uh, sleeping area where the people can't actually see them. Which is actually very nice. And then they have two viewing points. They have one here. And they have one on the other side. And we're actually gonna start with this one. That's by the big water as well. So we're gonna follow our keeper. We are gonna go past the animatronic. And actually, if you are standing here, you can actually kind of look into the Komodo dragon habitat. Which is... Quite nice. I have the feeling like a lot is happening in my zoo and I can't actually manage it. So I feel like more... Ugh, Gary, you keep escaping, man. At this point, I don't care. <laughs> so here we go, like in our first like viewing point that is covered. With a lot of benches so people can sit. I actually really like it. Don't mind that, that's glitched out. And when you stand there, you can actually see all the kangaroos. There's been like stories being told about the kangaroos and you can see them splashing around in the water having fun. I love it. So let's just uh, go back to the path downstairs. Look, even the children are warm. You have some more animatronics with some amazing landscaping and even more animatronics. You can hear them moving. They're quite rusty. I love it. Like all the guests are warm but you know <laughs> it's the desert. What do you expect? And we even have this little bit of art coverage for the kangaroos. Now, it's abstract, you know, abstract art. Here we have a path that leads to, I think, a water facility, a power facility. With some awesome rock work, actually. I remember this rock work, it took me quite a while to get it perfect and I absolutely love it. And look, you can see them actually through the glass. Look! Wow! Oh, he's looking at us. That's nice. So on your left, I feel like I'm a tour guide. Look to the left. So on your left, you will see some amazing water views. But we're not going over that bridge yet. I mean, that leads to the ostriches like that. We are going to go to our another viewing point. So this viewing point actually leads for two animals. Originally, I obviously built this one for the kangaroos that we are going to look at first. But maybe you've already seen this on your left are actually the ostriches. 
So here you can look out this. You can actually see the kangaroos. I feel like I'm in Jurassic World, man, with all those speakers. Here we have our ostrich habitat. You can actually see them laying there. Like if they were to walk here, they'd be very, very close. So ostriches obviously uh, weren't part of the Australia pack, but I felt like they were kind of necessary because otherwise um, you really wouldn't have a lot of animals in your Australian zoo. And that is obviously like uh, not acceptable. So, oh look, you have a tiny ostrich. So they're all sleeping here at the moment. Oh, look how cute. It's sleeping. So nice. Is the male or female? Male. Nice. So this Australia, um, well, Australian habitat is actually quite nice for the, for the, I want to say kangaroos, but they're ostriches. Look, one is walking. They are located right on the water side. They can't actually escape except the little ones, which, you know, um, they're the little ones. So once they grow up, they won't be able to escape anymore. That's the keeper. And all, they have like this habitat, which is enormous. It goes all the way from the back to the front to there. It is absolutely gigantic. And what I really love, you have like this giant, well, not giant, this waterfall here, like on the side of the habitat, which is amazing. Look, we have another small one and it's running quite fast. I think it's going to escape. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I mean, like, don't worry, it will walk back, so it's completely fine. Here we have another male ostrich, and here we actually have a little water for them, which I quite like. As even a ball has fallen into there. I love it. See, all these people aren't even scared, they're like complaining that they're warm. Luckily, if you follow the path, you first have two more gift shops, and then you walk past this beautiful enormous oasis with this giant rock formation in the middle and like these desert rocks behind which kind of reminds me like lucky look and i absolutely love it and then you walk in here more tables and then you have actually another food court which i think all our vendors are actually on break which isn't really ideal which you know um that's live so you walk out here so to the right you will go to the kangaroos so you'll have to see ostriches actually the little one running there look cute so let's just oh amazing i love it i love this so much and then on the left is beautiful rock formation actually behind here look there's another oasis with a lot of trees and bushes and i absolutely love it like desert filter one of the best filters there is i like it Oh well, this broke. Oopsies. And here we are walking over the bridge and we are actually heading to the almost last animal in our zoo. And you can hear the water. You hear that? Love it. We are heading to a crocodile. Oh look, it's here. Wow. They're climbing on top of the fences. Look, there she is. Enormous. Amazing, I feel like Steve Irwin. Wow, she looks quite happy. Like, obviously, more toilets. Ooh, you can even hear her. Oh, yes, nice. Like, some poo from the crocodile. That's fine, okay. Let's figure out if we can see the second one. Like, that's the female. Where's the male? Like, behind me are some more star facilities. I th uh, right? Yeah. Look, with a little butterfly I made. I'm quite happy with that. So, it's not in its sleeping quarter. We're going over a little bridge again, which I absolutely adore. Go up here. We also have like uh, these sunscreens to make sure that the people can stand in the shade. <gasps> we have a baby! Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cute. Thumbnail. <laughs> wow. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's so amazing. I have a little mud butt for them. Let's see if we can find the dad. I think I, think I see him. I think he is... Oh, wait. Never mind, that was a shadow. Where is he? That's a shadow as well. Let's go, let's go to her. Oh, he's just laying there. I, I could have known. Oh, he's actually going out, I think. There he is. Look how enormous he is with his tail. Wow. 
Absolutely love it. So where's the, where did the baby go? Oh, look the baby. They're eating with mom. This could be the thumbnail. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm just doing this voiceover and I'm immediately entering my own zoo, but I'm seeing these opportunities for, for like thumbnails. Oh, they ate all the food. Now the dad doesn't have any food left. She knows, like she ran away quick. And now he's baking in the sun. Oh, this thing is so cute. Look at all the people looking looking at him, man. Wow. Okay, so I think... I don't think, I know, like the last thing we need to do is Koala Island. And then we're gonna have a look at the night um, time. You can hear like the sprinkler systems and we're walking over this bridge. And like, um, if they were swimming, you could actually see them swimming around. So over there was the entrance. This is the final bridge and you can actually on the right see Koala Island. So let's just move into a uh, guest height. You can have a sneak peek in what we are about to see. And I have to say, it is quite amazing, even if I say so myself. I quite like it. Look at the entrance. Like the koala habitat was the first habitat that I built for this zoo. And it took me so, so long. And I am so proud of it, just the way it looks. Koala Island is definitely my favorite. So we move over this bridge, which of course safety rails everywhere in case like uh, the child falls in. A lot of landscaping. And this is a walk-in habitat, so you can go through the visitor's gate, making sure you don't feed the koalas. <gasps> oh, look, there it is. There one is, there one is, there's one. Wow. Oh, is he going to eat? Man, we are in luck today. And he's not okay. But he is very, very, very cute. I know that they have, like, uh, little ones. Let's see if we can spot them. Because there are some koala babies. Here, obviously, some educational center, to which you have amazing viewer points also to the ostrich uh, thing habitat. So, oh, I see another koala. Okay, that's a grown up koala, but you know, it's walking here, which is really cute. Look how cute they are. Oh. Let's see if we can find some babies. There are like not a lot of people here. Usually, there are a lot more. Let's, uh, let's go this way. This little climbing thing I built that's from scratch. Absolutely love it. Like, people are looking here. But I don't see anything. Is it see in the tree? I don't know. I don't see anything. People are watching, but I can't see it. Oh, maybe they're in the bushes and I just... Oh, there's one again. Like, I knew they had babies. <gasps> A baby! Look! Is this a baby? I'm sure it's not a baby. No, it's an adult. Okay. They're all hungry, man. That's annoying. Animal has escaped. Yeah, whatever. Where are the babies? Where are my koala babies? Okay, you know what? Um, I'm gonna do this the easy way. Children. Where are you? Look how cute. There she is. Her name is Violet. And she is very, very, very cute. And she is so tiny. Like staying close to her mom. Look how small. Oh, look, it's climbing. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Absolutely love it. Let's see if we can find some more. Because I'm sure we have some more, like, uh, babies in here. Also, this oasis. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Again, we can hear like all the educational speakers. It's fun because like I made it unclimbable so they can't get over this. But this is a very low point, but I actually think that's kind of cute. So in here, that's like the end of our koala island. So here we have another bridge. We are going over some more water. Like on both sides. And then we are back at the kangaroo habitat. So from this side, also both koalas to koala islands, we have a loony balloons here. And if you walk over the, this bridge, which is made out of stone, you are back at the dingo habitat. So there are a few things we haven't seen yet. Back here, we have this amazing oasis, which leads like this one and then leads to this giant one. So first you have a few puddles. 
and they're becoming more beautiful, more beautiful. Also, I I don't know why this has splash you facts. Um, it shouldn't have, but apparently it has. So we're just gonna go with it. And here we have this giant oasis, also with splashy effects, I don't know why. This is an enormous oasis. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, Nim, why didn't you just incorporate that in the zoo, like in your zoo? I didn't want to, I felt like this was so pretty. Obviously, um, when I was making this at the end, I was like, huh, maybe I should have placed my, um, like, crocodiles in here. That would have been quite amazing if it was, this was the crocodile habitat. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm actually quite happy with the habitat that the crocodiles have at the moment. So here we have some more smaller uh, oases and some springs that are coming out of these mountains. You see like coming from there. And then you have some more desert the hills. And that ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls like and other people aliens who knows is the end of our zoo tour now we're just gonna look at our zoo in night time and you will see it's being all lit up go away <laughs> okay my facilities are broken i don't care you can see it all lit up along the main path so entrance there you go so wherever there's light you can actually walk and there are actually paths that lead somewhere and I absolutely love it because like if for example if you were to move into koala island at night look you can see the koala baby I'm sorry guys I'm gonna go back to night in a minute but look how cute this is oh mom's looking so happy okay so that's climbing let's go back to night time so you can actually see here that the paths are lit up so everywhere where you can walk it's lit up, but like not here obviously because the animals have some privacy. And I absolutely love it. And it's the same like in the entire zoo. This zoo mostly contains uh, like only, well mostly, I tried to use only Australia items. So only from the Australia Zoo. And I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Oh, we had a baby birth. And I am actually really, really happy with the way it turned out. So guys. I hope you're just as excited as I am. This was the end for our Australia Zoo. And um, if you want me to build another zoo, just comment down below what you would like to have. And I will see if I can actually build it. So guys, with no further ado, um, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this zoo tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the animals. Let's um, close this video up while we are watching this crocodile lying in mud. So guys, thank you guys very much for watching to my zoo tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure you leave a like, a comment and subscribe to this channel. You can also hit that bell icon so you get notified when my next video goes live. And I will hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on this world. Bye guys.